So what we're doing here is we're going to grab chords from the chord player and bring them into Soundtrap so that we can use this chord progression um, in our composition. So I've already got a chord progression down here that I've chosen, but what you can do is you can go through and you can test these chords. So by clicking on them, then I want, I'm going to go to E minor, for example, maybe to F next. And then to A minor. So I'm going to go C, this is my chord progression that I'm going to choose. And then to E. Hopefully you can hear the music. F. Yes. And then to A minor. Hmm. Ah yes, like that. I can just click and delete. I can just click and delete. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to click record, and I can put C, and then I want E. Ah no. Oh, ah, that's not what I wanted. I want C, and then I can click them, and then I want E, and then I want F, and then I want A minor. Okay, so I can cl stop clicking record, and it will write them in. And now it's going to play the whole chord progression down the bottom here. Oh, I kind of want this to be half and half. I'm going to click record and click A minor G. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just being a bit too difficult now because I'm being picky, but you don't have to do this. So now I can have two chords in the last bar. Let's just check that works. Okay, this is used in hundreds of pop songs already. Great. Now I can actually change the style and I can change the instrument that's played. Um, so if I want it to sound like a piano, I can click on piano and then it will sound like a piano. So there's the instrument change. I can also change the rhythm that it's being played with. So if I wanted a pop song, if I wanted a different type of song, like let's try rock this time. Let's try and see what it sounds like for rock. Cool, I like that one. So I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna save it. So I can save it and I can bring it into Soundtrap. Now there's two ways to do this. The two ways to do this with Soundtrap is you can click, no, not this one. Um, you can click here and this is to save it. So what we wanna do is export the MIDI file. Um, there are two things. We can export the MIDI file and then in Soundtrap we can change the sound if we want it to be a synthesizer or if we want it to be anything. If you really like the sound of this piano, you can save it as a WAV file and then you can put it in. But I would recommend you doing it as a MIDI file because it's generally gonna be easier. So I'm gonna click export MIDI file. I'm gonna call it, um, C, E minor, F, and A minor, G. You can call it whatever you like. I'm gonna click Save. So here's my MIDI file, it's downloaded. Let's open up my composition and we'll sh I'll show you how we can put it in. So here's my composition in Soundtrap. I've got my template song of Juice by Lizzo. Cool. I'm gonna mute this now because this is just our template. We don't need to listen to it anymore. Um, we've got our template, introduction, verse, pre-chorus, etc. We've done the structure of it already. So I'm going to grab my MIDI file and I'm going to put this one here and just drag it in here. Boom. Done. So if I look at the beginning, of, we've got guitar and drums. So this one, I might need to try and change this one if I'm going to follow my structure to a guitar chord progression. Let's just see if I can bring it over here. Why is it doing that? Let me just see if it works. Let's see. Cool. It works. It fits. For some reason, it doesn't quite fit exactly. This is very odd. So just check it's going to loop properly. Um, it should loop there now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, for some reason it wasn't exactly on the line, but there we go. Now it's going to loop and I can use that for my introduction and for my verse, but at the chorus and pre-chorus I might want something different. So I have prepared another chord progression that I want for the um, for the chorus and I've done this one already here. I'll just show you what it sounds like.
so it's C, F, mi F minor, A flat, and B flat. It's a bit more complicated, this chord progression. C, F minor, A flat, and B flat. Just going to call it there so I know what it is. And I'll drag this one in as well. Now, I want this one to be a different sound. So I'm going to put it in here. And I want it to sound a different thing. So I'm going to choose here, and I'm going to change the sound of the piano. So I can go, for example, synth. And I can listen to the different synth sounds and see. No, that's horrible. That might be good. Bobble. Let's try bobble. Okay, we've got bobble. And again, we might need to change it because it might sound terrible. No, it's not bad. Now, I could also do a double of this Rhodes and I could. I could then create this one as a guitar because if I'm following my structure, Lizzo starts with guitar and drums. So I might want to change, change this to be guitar. So I click on Rhodes and I'll change the instrument here, very slowly, guitar and bass. And I'm going to choose a guitar chords, I suppose. Okay, I like this one because this is based off Pat Metheny, a very famous jazz guitar player. Let's see if this works together. Okay, it kind of does, but the, the, the really low piano part sounds a bit strange. So we might need to change, you know, I might mean, need to change that and see, but generally you can, you can have layers of instruments by having like that, and then we can click duplicate.